I'm catching up with Sharon Cotson ahead of racing on Friday. Sharon is definitely dressed the part. It is a very chilly morning and uh, looking nice and warm. Now, on Friday, in race two, Kakua Spirit will start the yard off. She was expected to need her run of experience last time out, her debut run, and I'm sure we can expect improvement. Morning, Nadine. Uh, Kukua Spirit, despite everything, I thought her first run was a very good run. She missed the break completely and ran on strong. Um, she's going the extra distance, the 1,200 metres, but I think she is looking for a touch further. But it is her second run. The main issue is uh, I want her to jump and run on again as well. In the background is Hirsti Dung, and we'll see him in action in race three. Hirsti Dung got gelded after his last run. Um, he's going to enjoy the 1600 metres, you know, he's bred for even further. He has come on a lot since his last run, so definitely expecting a better run from him. And in race four, Quiet Whisper will step out. Now Sharon, you did say she's been a little bit frustrating because her form on paper and her work at home are two different things. Definitely. Um, she has got the draw this time. She is running against fillies. She has to bring her work to the track, um, otherwise I think her time's going to be limited. Let's hope Quiet Whisper is listening. In race six, our feature of the afternoon, the PE Gold Cup, we'll see Payanat. Now, over 2,400 last time out, he really ran on well late, and it does bode well for him up to 3-2 for the first time on Friday. Yeah, he's trying the 3,200 metres for the, for the first time, but he's done absolutely nothing wrong in the staying races, and uh, he really deserves his chance. It is a little bit up in class, but um, I think that if, if he... If he brings his uh, work and brings his, his usual self yeah. to the track. I actually think he's in with a shot. The Yards final runner will be twice to heaven. We'll see her in race seven. Now she is never far back and she really runs a bad race. Yeah, she's a very honest filly. Uh, 1,400 metres is right up her alleyway. Um, unfortunately, she's got a little bit of a wide draw, but to compensate that, she has got uh, Donald Gerson with a apprentice claim. So, um, you know, she always puts, puts her best and uh, always gives a good account of herself. While her form on paper may suggest that she's better off on Polly when she is on grass, as Sharon pointed out, she does run her best races over 1,400 and she's not out of it.